Coach, we're about two hours away from the tip-off of your final home game. Uh, what's going through your mind right now? Memories, a lot of memories. Uh, just the last couple of weeks, you know, I've been pretty emotional uh, when you've been pouring your heart into something for as long as I have. And, but the thing that has been remarkable is the love that is being poured back now. And uh, that's been a pretty good thing to see on Facebook. And uh, so many people done touched my life that more than they'll know. And uh, I'm just thankful that I'm, I, I, I've been here to, I hope I'm, God is pleased with me. I love you, man. Put out Y'all know how I am. You know I'm emotional. This, this is it. I'm, I'm, I'm proud that I'm ending this with y'all. Chad, I've talked to your mom. And me and you and come a long way, y'all. Yeah, I kind of put that on the team. We're gonna come a long way. Our, our relationship has grown. And I appreciate it. Taylor, you've been with the program since you need out. Just go ahead and play hard. Tell you one thing about life, one of the kids. I was telling somebody this today, something my mom talked about. I always treat people with kindness. They come with the three circles. A lot of people have been pouring, pouring love in my heart. It's because I treated them. So when you graduate, remember to treat people with kindness. And you'll see two different things. We thank you for giving us another opportunity to play this great game of basketball. We ask that you watch over each and every player of God, protect them from injury, and let us play a great game. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.
John Wilkinson, uh, athletic director, of Cocoa High School. When I think of Coach Rowe, I think of uh, a family man, a uh, man of God, and a uh, great basketball coach uh, who's infected uh, a lot of people's lives, and we're definitely going to miss him. Hi, my name is Manny Clifton. I play for Coach James Rowe from 1994 to 1999. Uh, when I think of James Rowe, I just think of somebody that is a compassionate person who loves to coach kids and get the best out of their ability. And I just want to wish him the best in his retirement, and I love him. How you doing? My name is T. Williams. I played for Coach Rowe from 2003 to 2007. When I think about Coach Rowe, I just think about all the fun times we had and how he's a great dude and how he always looked at us at the, like we were his own son. That's what made him the coach he is today. And for that, I love you and respect you, Coach Rowe. I'm Sean Colclue. I played for Coach Rowe in the 98 and 99 season, graduated in 99. Um, thinking of Coach Rowe is good man. You know, I moved down here from South Carolina. I was new in the area, um, though my brothers played for my brother played for Coach Rowe. I was the new guy, and he took me on this wing, you know. And even now, he's, he's still the same guy. So, thank you, Coach, for everything you've done. Thank you for the words of encouragement. Uh, and I know I see you around, especially on the golf course. All right, hello, I'm Demers Whitfield. I was a part of Coach Rowe's first class from '96, '97. I played for him from '96 to a class of '99. Once you came in the gym, you saw Coach Rowe every day. Him and all of his assistant coaches, the same thing. Just a bunch of consistency, a good, strong foundation. You knew what you was getting every day when you went in the gym. And he made you ready. He made you want to work for him and play hard for him. He made me get after it, I'll tell you that. So congratu congratulations to you, Coach Rowe, on a great career. You got a lot of people out here love you and glad that you came in our life. How you doing? My name is uh, Steve Dukes. I played for Coach Rowe from uh, AU basketball. I played then again through high school. Um, I just want to, Coach Rowe has, has, has been a great staple in this community ever since I was a young kid, you know what I'm saying? Um, he's done a lot, a lot of great things. He's taught us young men a lot. There's people like that that we still need in this community that we don't have these days. So Coach Rowe, I just want to thank you for everything that you've done for me and my family, Coach. And I hope you enjoy retirement, Coach. I'm Wayne Younger. Uh, played for Coach Rowe and from 2003 to 2005. Um, just Coach Rowe's meant everything to me. Uh, father figure, a mentor, uh, somebody that's always been there for us. Uh, it means the world to, for him to, to go out like this. Um, you know, and, and I wish them the best. I, I'm, my name is Kevin Mixon. I played for Coach Rowe 2000 and 2001. Coach was a good coach, always pushed us hard, and always stayed on my behind all the time. Very good, like a father to me. He taught me a lot, taught me, to res taught me respect, and taught me to keep my mouth closed. <laughs> Congratulations, Coach. Uh, I'm Richie Hunter. I'm a current player for Coach Rowe. Uh, when you think of Coach Rowe, you just think of a great coach and a great person overall. And, uh, he's kind, he go out his way to do anything for anyone. He just tries to spread his joy throughout the day to everyone. How you doing? My name is Tyrone Jiscom. I played for Coach Rowe from 2002 to 2006. Um, when you think of Coach Rowe, or when I think of Coach Rowe, I think of Greedy because he loved to eat. And uh, we would go to the summer camps over in the summer. We played at the Coco Expo. He would always stop at, uh, I think it was VFW, and get like the lima beans and, and fried chicken. And, that's what I think of Coach Rowe, greedy, but I'm going to miss him, and I love him like he's a dad to me. Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Alvin Smith, Jr. I played for Coach Rowe 2002 to 2006, and um, Coach Rowe is uh, definitely a man of dignity, inter in integrity, and um, he's a great leader. He's a great role model in this community. Hi, I'm Sammy Claiborne. I played for Coach Rowe back in 1993 when he first started coaching the JV program under uh, Coach Eversbach. Um, Coach Rowe, to me, um, has been a father figure over the years. He's, he's a man with a huge heart. He's always giving. He taught me that, that it's not about the game, but it's about teaching these kids life and about helping them, uh, teaching them about character and respecting everyone. I'm Marquise Freeman. And I played for Coach Rowe since eighth grade. I'm in 10th grade now. And Coach Rowe is a great coach. 
then he pushes you to the limit. And if you don't meet that limit, then I don't know what else. He just, he always been there. If you need something, he'll give it for you. My name's David Rowe, um, Coach Rowe's son, his youngest son. Um, and, you know, tonight was a special night. Um, you know, just uh, celebrating his success on the court. Um, you know, I've seen kind of the background of that, you know, him at home. And, and I can tell you what you're seeing in public on the court and what you're seeing at home, or what I've seen at home was the same thing. And, you know, I think it means a lot for him to go out, um, you know, this year having a lot of success um, in his previous years. Uh, you know, I'm just very happy for him. Um, you know, hopefully he enjoys his retirement. Right, James Rowe, um, son of Coach James Rowe. Played for him at Cocoa High, played basketball for him, uh, football and baseball. Um, and obviously, you know, tonight just, you know, makes, makes me proud as a son, you know, to, to show, you know, the, the, the way the community shows support for my father and, you know, how many, how many people he was able to touch. You know, it, it means a lot to us, um, you know, kind of helping organize this. You don't know how many people are really going to show up because you're not, you know, you're not sh exactly sure how he affected everybody, but, you know, as packed as the gym was to really just show him love. And some guys I haven't seen in 15 years showed up, you know, and, and some ex-players I really looked up to when I was young, you know, and it was just a, a blessing to see that. And, you know, just, again, just proud to be his son and proud of my dad. It's been a tremendous outpouring of love uh, tonight in my retirement. Uh, I just want to say thank you to Friday Night Locker Room for doing a wonderful job tonight. And if it's one thing that I would like to leave with everybody, it's just be kind. Treat people with kindness. That's what I would like to leave with, with you tonight. Just be kind to one another.